Now that we've analyzed the artwork of Heather Hansen, we're ready to create our own mirror drawing inspired by her work. First, I need to tape my paper to the table. So I'm gonna take a roll of tape. I can get a small piece, I don't need a big piece. Put my thumbs on the edge, pull one thumb up, one thumb down. Then I'm going to stick my tape to my uh, shirt a couple times to get some of the sticky off. And then I will split that small piece of tape in half again and tape my paper to the table. I'll choose two colored markers. They could be the same colors or they could be different. Both hands will be holding a, a marker and I'm going to start drawing, trying to make the two colors mirror each other. After a couple seconds, I'll put the tops back on and choose two more colors. If you find a marker that is running out of ink, you can put it in the marker cemetery in the classroom, in the front of the classroom, and we'll choose two more colors. When you're done with a marker, remember to snap the cap and please make sure you're putting the correct marker top on every marker. That's part of following rule number three, being nice to the classroom. That means we're taking care of our materials and keeping them nice and organized. Now that we've put our markers away, we're ready for our final piece of artwork. So I'll get a new piece of paper, a black piece. I'll write my name, my number, and my code on the back. Then I'm ready to get started. This time we're gonna be using chalk pastels. You'll also need some water. So I taped my piece of paper to my table. I'm gonna choose two colors. Now chalk pastels can get kind of messy. So in order to keep it looking fairly clean, I'm gonna dip the two ends of my chalk into the water. Then find the middle of that paper and continue doing what we did with our markers. When I'm done, change colors, dip in the water, and keep going. I'm liking my work so far. I might choose to use the pastel or the chalk pastels to color in some areas as well. Be sure that your uh, pastel is nice and wet so that it won't move around once it's dry. I'm really kind of emphasizing parts of the picture that I like. I've finished kind of emphasizing parts of my picture that I like by coloring them in, adding some little details that I think will help my artwork look even better. Now I'm gonna take off the tape and I need to affix my chalk to the paper. That means make it so it won't smudge around. In order to do that, I'm gonna go over to the sink area. Here at the sink by the big number five, I'll place my artwork into the box. I'm going to use some spray starch, which is really used for um, laundry. I'm going to hold the spray starch above my picture, not right down below, uh, right next to it, lift it up, and I'm just going to sp lightly spray my artwork with spray starch. I don't want to make it so that there's puddles on here, so don't spray too much. Now I'll pick it up with two hands, pinching my paper so I don't drop it. I'll carry it to the drying rack 
find my personal number, turn it, and slide it in the skinny way. Then as I walk back to my seat, I can grab a sponge to wash my fingers and my space. All right, I can't wait to see what you create. Have fun.